Hey guys and welcome to a new video here on Flow Shop. My name is Joseph. I'm pretty excited about today's episode because we're shooting outdoors and we're shooting completely with natural light. To make it even more interesting, we're shooting at a time that isn't very flattering for photo shoots and we're also shooting in an open space with no chance or place to use shade. Alright, it's about 2 p.m. now and the sun doesn't have a lot of direction to it, but we are gonna do our best and see what we can get out of it. I'd also use um, mostly just natural light but in some situations I just might bounce a bit of the natural light with the silver side of my reflector but it's not something I'm looking to do too much but let's see what we can do out of today's shoot if you know me you know I love shooting with my 85 1.8 Canon lens especially when I'm doing outdoor portraits or outdoor shoots in general and I like to use my 100 millimeter macro when I'm doing indoor shoots but today i'm gonna to be shooting with my sigma 24 to 35 f2 art lens it had rained last night and i knew the clouds would be beautiful the next day okay so we went into a cornfield and decided to shoot there the blue sky and the brown tones of the dry corn plants just complemented the whole scene and especially with the model skin tone and ginger hair what I wanted to do was to get the beautiful blue skies in the shot. I know a lot of people like to backlight with the sun and then expose for the model or bounce light back into the subject with a reflector or even strobe in some cases. But what I wanted to do was to get the beautiful blue skies in the shot and the best way to do that is not to shoot into the sun. So for the most part, I kept the lens at 35mm but sometimes I brought it to about 24 just to get a wider shot but most times it was, it was at 35 um, millimeters and with my shutter speed at 1 over 2500 my ISO at 50 and my aperture constantly at f2 I kept the ISO at 50 because it just there's just something about shooting at ISO 50 it just makes the colors richer and everything just pops at ISO 50 so I do use ISO 50 when I have the chance okay so with these constants all I had to do was work with the model and find great angles to shoot from also because of how wide um, I was shooting. I wanted to add more power and prominence to the model so I went lower and shot upwards. That even made me get better shots of the model, the corn and the beautiful sky. All in all, I spent about 20 minutes shooting and I, it was at the end I switched to the 85 and had the model sit ground. Well basically I put my reflector on the ground and so she sat on it and I grabbed a few stills with that lens. So if you like this video, give it a like as this helps me create more content. Click the subscribe button if you haven't because it's free and it helps me a lot. Also hit the like button if you enjoy the video as well as it tells me you're interested in my content. Turn on post notifications to be notified of my new videos and I'll see you in the next one. I'm leaving some images here for you to look at. These are raw images on touch straight out of the camera and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.